Welcome back now. The Premier League's hearing into 115 charges against Manchester City is underway today. The club's accused of breaking financial fair play rules around 100 times over a nine-year period, as well as breaching rules requiring the provision of accurate financial information. So what have City been accused of? Well, among the charges is they didn't fully disclose payments made to one of their managers from 2009 to 2013. There are also alleged breaches of Premier League rules which required clubs to comply with the UEFA financial fair play regulations between 2013 and 2018. Other breaches related to the Premier League's own profitability and sustainability rules for three seasons from 2015 onwards. And City are also alleged to have breached rules requiring clubs to cooperate and assist with investigations by the Premier League from December 2018 to February 2020. 23. Well, our sports correspondent Rob Harris has more. A Premier League independent commissioner has been starting to hear the most contentious and complex case perhaps in English football history as Manchester City fights at least 115 charges to avoid potentially being dot points or even expelled from the Premier League. We've only seen lawyers arriving, City represented by Lord Panic, who has previously represented former Prime Minister Boris Johnson, a high-powered sports lawyer Adam Lewis KC representing the Premier League. We aren't allowed into the hearing. It will be held in private over perhaps the next two months with potentially no verdict coming until next year. There are many charges to get through and they relate to these alleged breaches of financial fair play rules as Manchester City have become the most dominant team in this current era of the Premier League, winning eight titles since 2012. But at the heart of this case is how they assembled the squad to achieve so much success and how they provided the funding for the player transfers and salaries. Now, we don't know the details of the charges, but we have seen a previous UEFA investigation which provided details of sponsorships and the like. We also have had previous allegations about manager payments, and that is also at the heart of some of these charges. Whether or not City provided accurate information relating to player and manager remuneration, they are also accused of not cooperating with this investigation, charges that go up to last year. Now, if this seems familiar, it's because City have previously been fined twice by UEFA, once in a settlement a decade ago in a financial fair play case, also in 2020 when they were fined €10 million Euros for obstructing the case. They did have a Champions League ban overturned at the same time. And City's lawyers will certainly be going all out to try to defend the club in this case where so much is at stake both for City and the Premier League itself in deciding to bring this vast case against a club that has been so successful and of which they've handed the trophy out to so many times in recent years.